I'm doing on cloud. Now you can see. Yes. My my charts you can see all of you. You need to share some. I thought I shared. Oh yeah. Oh, because that time I was not the host. Share screen. Share. Okay. Just give me one. Some new participant has joined. I will just admit Kavita, and then bring this in. Now you can see. Yes, we can see sir. Yeah. Okay. So I will just uh, I change my topic to uh, thrive, create a mia 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 waki. It's a Japanese word. So what does Miyawaki means is that you create an urban forest. See today if we, our mindset is that what will happen? It's so barren. The business is gone. Everything is gone. Salary is cut. Uh, some business totally gone out of model. If you are in uh, today in uh, hotel business, restaurant business, airline business, car business, I mean, it's really gone. Uh, nothing is happening. Even in fashion business, the business is gone. And it will take some time before the business comes to somewhat a, a model where you can make money. So what do one do? So it is like now the forest has to be created where all types of forest, tall trees, short trees, shrubs, grass, all has to grow in a place. And if that has to happen, that is what is called Miyaseki. So it's called an urban forest. So I thought that's a very apt word to be used at this moment. I, let me briefly tell you about why I should be talking about this subject. I am. I. I have gone through a different facets of life. I did my schooling from military school. I am an engineer by education. Then I did my. I am uh, business management. I am part of a cohort of I am who are ve done very well in their life. They have been the first real group of batch of entrepreneurs. A lot of my batch mates are today big entrepreneurs. Have businesses which is worth one billion dollars. Built in from ninety. 89. So they moved 89 to 91. They began, started moving to their own. So you, I was fortunate to be a part. And today, like in simple terms, today when I really look at myself, I realize we are we are lucky few who has really got this group of guys who talk business, discuss everything. Like today, if I look at when I look, I, my next chart will tell you this group of I am Ahmedabad cohort. I have seven WhatsApp group. In seven WhatsApp group, we discuss books, we discuss sports, we discuss angel investing, we discuss share market, we discuss health, health and technology, and of course shairi and fun. So and one happy birthday group so that nobody gets disturbed. So we are completely updated with what is happening across the world because people are in US, people are in uh, UK, people are in in Singapore, Hong Kong. So you know what's happening in life at any moment of time. And you're really getting updated to the activities and market conditions of that share markets or anything, industry, technology, virus, whatever it is. So you get to know all that. And that's very, very helpful. So, so uh, with that, then I realized that I've gone through gamut of uh, my became finally president and then was managing several countries. So then worked with Ansel, Ankel, and built a lot of brands. You can see a lot of brands which are there. Let me mute, mute some of the people. Huh? I think we have to mute one minute. How much of what are you doing? So I'm muting others. So sorry for this. So uh, when you look at, then you realize that when you build brands over a period of time, you know that you build number one brands. So how do you go about it? And I think business is all about brands. That is where you get value. If you're not building brands, you don't get value for what you are doing and you become a commodity and the commodity, there's no price. You don't dictate the price. So, so it is very, very important. So I had built a lot of number one brands in the niche categories. Even today, what my last success story was the deodorant brand where you don't haven't seen any advertising today's number one brand in the country with around 6% market share versus which a lot of people have advertised. This was built in eight to nine years time. And it's today almost a 200 crore 
business. So you can build brands without much advertising, even in highly competitive category, if you get your ideas right. So what is your differentiator? What is your concept? All that, if it works, I think uh, then it really does the job. Then I had fairly short three stints in entrepreneurship. What, it, uh, what has happened is the three entrepreneurship first was in 1994 to 1996. I came back to job and then again, one stint when I was in the job, I promoted hotel with my brother. So that's still going on. And third is now when I decided that I finally give my full role into what I love, love doing. So that's what has happened. And that's how I feel. I understand what is need and what I've gone through in my three phases of business, what people really need. And that's, that's, that is what makes the journey of any individual, what people do look for, what I was looking for when I was entrepreneur. I was missing an entrepreneur. I was missing a mentor. I was missing how to manage the money. I was missing how to look at ideas. I was missing how to build brands today. All that came in later. And today I'm in a position to tell, okay, I'm good enough to tell you, this is not working. This is what was working. And today when I'm promoting my own FMCG business, which is today running rate in love. It's one year time. We are running rate of five pros. Hopefully it will be 25 pros in two years and 50 pros. And building an FMCG business, building an FMCG business, I request everyone to please mute yourself. I think everybody is mute. I think some prop, someone is not mute. So it is, sound in the background is disturbing uh, so when you think about what you need to do you feel have clarity it is much easier all the examples which i gave one is prill dishwashing liquid which you must be familiar with because i'm still familiar because in this corona times i'm again using that liquid to do the dishes so the when we used to start that concept of dishwashing today it's number one in the market you take ksdo which is number one then surgical gloves, which is number one premium gloves. So you can create your own niche and successful stories of success in the marketplace. And if you get it right, nothing to beat this business because all are profitable. Now, if I look at even surgical gloves, one example, which I can give normally people say glove is a glove. Why, what is the so great about that? So everybody used to sell to hospital and then you sell at 10 rupees and government hospital sells you at 65, 70 rupees to the patient. We started the first group to start gloves selling at 75 rupees, 3000 rupees, 200 rupees. So it completely changed the paradigm of what used to be a surgical glove. And that built a market. Today it's a 100 pro plus business, very successful, uh, even in this current time. So all that has helped me. And to build uh, to today, I feel that I should be in place to tell you that success leaves clues. So if you understand the clues well, then there is a fair chance you will have a successful model to build a business. Of course, there were many mistakes. There were many failures which I have done in my life, which I'm in position to tell that these are the failures you don't do. You avoid that. So failures teach you and it's a good experience. But I learned at someone's cost and maybe at my also on my personal cost in one of the business ventures, which I did. So what is entrepreneurship? Actually, entrepreneurship is a personal growth engine this guy is a business pursuit so everybody why does people talk about entrepreneurship because actually it is very personal he or she is very excited about the concept and because you are ex excited about your concept your idea your thought you want to convert into a business passion so everybody has heard about dicky guy what i love doing what the world loves what the why get paid for what i enjoy doing so if you get the right spot that is your icky guy so if you get that it's never easy before that you must realize passion is not necessarily can be converted into a monetary venture because if you like music maybe you like music but if you're not fantastically good at it you may not be able to monetize end of the day any entrepreneurship you will have to monetize you could have and I, i'm happy that you all of you here uh, that you are doing and hearing this So what is the current situation? We are in a future with no history to learn from and no past to guide us. Normally any business model, you will have a trend line. You said past we were doing this way. The future will be like this. 
today suddenly there is no past the past is totally losing relevance in many businesses is completely gone lifestyle product completely gone today raymond is talking about selling your mask selling gloves all the stuff besides selling their old cloth they, they are attempting to sell clothes but factory is people are not going to buy clothes because then they don't they don't have the occasion to wear that if you don't have occasion to wear that today government is restrict, restricting people that if there is a marriage you cannot have more than 50 people so if more than 50 people is not there in a marriage the big bang marriage indian marriage is gone and you don't have clothes to use so why do you need clothes so your business model is out of the window so you'd have to think through how do you make a business yes can you make a mask of 100 rupees can you make a mask of 5000 rupees can you give a mask which you takes breathes air refresh it keeps it cool and throws out the waste waste air so so that your face is cool all the time so you one can you will find value added mask which will be created in next designer mask so all those things will happen so economy will fundamentally look different so how it is today and from what it will be tomorrow so what has really radically changed is actually the habits our habits has totally changed like what was today when they when you suppose your parent most of you are, must be parents of children and when you tell your children don't look at your mobile so long you have to go and study don't look at uh, don't work on computers today you have to tell them go and study your homework is on uh, your whatsapp your homework is on your laptop please go and all student education has gone into your online so you what was you restricting your times online has gone into online education and is it going to change dramatically no i think gradually lot of homeworks all will start becoming online i think that's the way online space in whatever you do is going to be one way of future because social distancing is not going to go away quickly people will be scared of what it is still a vaccine coming and we don't know after corona 1 what is corona 2 what is corona 3 we don't know what next this is the first time this cohort of this people have started seeing this kind of uh situation where people are not in not aligned to what can happen yes if you are in 1920 you had that spanish flu yes you knew that this 2 million people would die and they didn't have medical care and this thing happened but today everybody wants to be careful you know 1 lakh people have died in us and that what next people are trying to be normal but suddenly everybody is fearful about what he is doing we have developed practices which were not there like you keep your clothes outside shoes outside wash your hands so many times you sanitize it and wash your vegetables by sodium with sodium bicarbonate keep it outside so many things we are doing which we would have not not done earlier any time so habits have totally changed so based on these habits so while i was working on this what are things which we could a businessman or an entrepreneur needs to look at so i brought this into a blueprint which i call six steps to rapidly grow your business and profits so first is i call the self mastery it is the growth mindset and goals i think the mindset is the most critical aspect of everyone if your mindset considering the scenario you are in will be really be impacted so i'll little bit touch upon that then what is your niche what you are good at how do you discover that then how do you build your personal brand if you are in business you are a solopreneur or a small business your personal brand becomes very important and with this today with digital world becoming the phone becoming so much important in our life it is very very important to have have your personal brand and then third fourth is if you already have a business how do you leverage the things that you already have or how do what do you look at to leverage your system third fifth is how to redemize so any, any business has to have a rhythm or some people call it system i call it rhythm if you get your rhythm right means you can always convert into a profitable and large scale business that is what is fmcg because as soon as you add consumers to your business it becomes larger and larger that's what it is and for a small business what you need to look at to really break out from your current scenario am i moving too fast or it's okay you can reply me in chat i think we are not yeah it's fine Thanks, yeah okay sir. absolutely okay good first one is self mastery i will just quickly go into 
so mindset so mindset mastery and i i will not go into too much detail i'll just give see mindset is what what we see and what we think normally we are really we have imaginary fears we have fears of the future which is imaginary and we also extrapolate what is happening in the past so this, so we are never in the present moment that we take action to move on to the next opportunity area we are always caught in the dilemma mine is such a way because 40 gb of information is pam, pumped onto you from various sources whether tv people your noise or your newspaper so much information is coming to you and your brain can take only 10% of that information and then brain processes that information through a model which is called ddg delete distort or generalize so by that process you take a model simplify those what you want to hear simplify those what you think rationalize that this is how things happen if this is happening like this this is the outcome which will happen so you don't listen to what next statement so you generalize so all that's how the, your brain works so mine is what matters a lot so let me give you an example there was a shark and a fish maybe some one of you have heard so a marine biologist carried an experiment with a shark and a fish when the shark sees the fish in a tank you will first go and eat that fish because that's what it goes and wants to do and it that's what it lives and eats now what happens the, what he did as an experiment he put a glass barrier at the center now when the shark goes to eat that fish it hits that glass right so after one hour the shark stops doing it because he believes there is a barrier which is not allowing him to reach that fish so after one hour if you remove this glass the shark will still not go and eat this fish that's how our, how our mind is our mind also makes lot of assumptions about the about what it is and then we are fearful about what it's going to happen we we have lot of imaginary fears so even so if so it's very very important that we do not have the barrier of fear in our mind at this time so most of them has already started if my this is going to happen if companies some companies have reduced 20% of their people so what is going to happen am i going to be the next so that fear sets in and then you start doing something which is not in line with your behavior fear takes on you and then fear of flight and that behaviors do not help you to be to be doing what you should ideally be doing so this is the mindset so we need to have a mindset which is not fearful but we need to work we are all seeded by experiences we just don't need to give up because we have failed in past because the anshi can you just stop it i am on the call i can't hear so if you just change it and then if you make it happen so i request to mute everyone yeah, i am i'm muting mute all so if you are if you don't take care of your mindset which is the most important thing today i think that's that's a critical path in what you do next in fact the business opportunity which is arising under the corona times is mental coaching wellness coaching health coaching all these are opportunities which have arose and it has become much more who would have thought that zoom will be an opportunity for people to talk do webinars paid webinars discuss goal setting all that would not have happened today it is happening and this is becoming more and more and it will become more as we go along because people will still take time to go on holidays they will still be caught up in their home and have to keep on learning i think the best way to keep going ahead is to learn new skills develop new skill learn learn the digital media all this will help all of us to become a better entrepreneur so what is the mindset is a attitude behavior action results and that involves in positive. so what type of conversation you yourself are having are you surrounding yourself with positive persons negative persons will always tell you that this is not happening if five times someone tells you you also start thinking ki yeah, i become doubtful about yourself if someone tells you your yeah, money doesn't grow on trees it goes into your mind money doesn't go you know 
most of us has reflected do you think money goes if parents may have told you teacher has told you and the result of that you always think money doesn't come easy so if money doesn't come easy it will never come easy to you how come some people make more money than you so i think first and more important thing is how to make the view that your mindset change that money can happen it's an outcome of what you start doing and if if you are able to get your customers to like your product then the outcome of that will be good money is coming to you net net so are you in your problem in problem solving mindset or are you can we can we do this mindset like today i have a team of 25 35 people in the field force in the country they have started working in the market with the corona times it is worrisome at me what next can happen but at at the same time i find them they are motivated enough to do the job so it is inspiring to see them working in the market and we have also pivoted we were a lifestyle company in fmcg in just last week we have launched a sanitizer sanitizer was never a part of the plan so how quickly we can pivot and take advantage of sanitizers next coming is disinfectants then it's coming sprays which will disinfect when you travel on airlines all those is a part of the requirement or reporter of the bag today whether you are carrying a women bag whether you are carrying a backpack all this will become a requirement today when you hear stories of people getting corona most of the people are getting corona when they use a common bathroom so we all know that so if a common bathroom is used so what do you take care of that with all the sanitizer so you need a self sanitizer when you use any space or disinfectant so you will have a tendency not only create taking a sanitizer you will also have a tendency of carrying a small disinfectant spray disinfectant spraying so that take precaution of not getting into this corona so you try to avoid that so that's one thing the other one is what rituals you are using to be to stay in productive and positive mindset so we need to have a growth mindset what is belief of a growth mindset is that you can learn grow and improve any point in time some of people you are above 50 Uh, you should not don't need to really do anything you just enjoy life it is not that today we all are living long, longer we have better quality of life and there's so much things to do so we can always learn and go today i am learning digital i am learning facebook i am learning youtube i am learning how to make my own videos i am learning how to create my own videos i am learning so many things in the last one month maybe it was not my requirement when i was ceo having so many people doing their job when i had full fledged creative team being today it's i am one man army i decide i need to have full stack knowledge of what i am doing because if my video is my weapon then i know what i have to do through this facebook if i am there is facebook only for fun or facebook is also for business if i believe it is for business i need to know how to use this for business how to sell it to the people whom i target so i need to understand the technology i need to understand the marketing of facebook what would it cost to get a customer what would be cost to keep it with me so if i don't know this then i am not doing the right job then i am out of it today 39 people more than 35% of the people are using social media time maybe now it has gone up this is one year old data tv has come down to 55 so with time tv will further shrink so and social media mobile phone will further go up so your instagram your youtube uh, your facebook pin interest tiktok tiktok may may go off we don't know those stories are still there in the market so we'll have to see but those are going to so you need to learn today if you don't learn then you are missing a big opportunity how to market people will fix mindset with always ever challenges i i like that i am enjoying learning this of course it is taking me some time to get into the things but i am enjoying so i am decided to move out from the fixed mindset to a growth mindset so what so what do you need why you can improve your growth mindset i'm quickly touching it because there is time is little bit short one is mind so mind is be mindful of your thoughts Be, you must believe that changes are possible you must avoid comparing yourself with others practice positive self talk 
you can have affirmations you second is you need to set goals set goals i'm coming later also you need to learn try a new challenge like for me the challenge is me making a video editing it putting voice putting music everything which i have not done i used to tell my colleagues please go ahead and do it today i am learning that so it's an so if i can learn anybody can learn so that is the way it is so acceptance that you must surround you with people people say you are as good as the five people you are talking with or living with so if you want to improve get people who are your mastermind who are from you can get masterminds who are good in something so that you can improve and go to his level learn from him you can go get another fellow who is in good in something else so find people who will be a mastermind and guide you through that process you really need a mentor in everything ask from people who are who you can trust and they give you feedback and you can learn from it most of the time we have, we don't hear it this this time when you are at home it's a good time to listen to those and improve and accept your imperfection and imperfection is what is acceptable if you tell your stories as you are it is acceptable to many so building a strong mindset you should have a daily rituals one could be your goal card you can have learning and growing and you also should believe opportunity not crisis this is not a crisis in fact throughout the world whenever crisis has happened the business model has changed and some people grew extremely rich whether it is a world war whether it is uh, the crisis like whether 2008 our uh, economic downturn which we had the businesses which really did well was the business which changed paradigm and moved even amazon was a book company 2008 crisis made amazon what it is today so everybody pivots the crisis or the opportunity when you need to pivot and find out what works well for you you have just you need to be smart enough to understand what is the story behind it as i said success will leave clues and those are the clues you must pick up quickly and those are things you need to multiply and encourage and do it and sometimes find your small wins to keep you happy so even if today you previously used to have 50 customers today you have 40 doesn't matter at least in this time we are having 40 like my motorcycles it stopped for one month now we have sold 100 i think it's fantastic it's 50 percent of what it was last month because i got only 15 days so it is good recovery i should not creep i should have done 200 250 vehicles yes next month maybe yes but this month just starting when you are over not even open for 30 percent of the time you're selling more than what it is i think it's a fantastic thing too that your people are recovering the people are getting back into their group you are doing it gradually and i think that's what matters so the cyclone derives its power from the calm center similarly does a person so if you calm yourself then you get your power so what is important is you yourself not anyone else so a very important part most of us don't do goal setting it is said in 1964 when they did a study in us three percent to four percent people set their goals and 96 percent didn't set their goal that four percent after 10 years the income of that four percent was larger than the 96 percent of the people so if you have a goal setting model which is also a technique which you need to do which you need to work on and then if you do it and have goal set for yourself then you are much better because once you have a goal set you are having a direction it's like a gps if you want to go from one place to another suppose you have to go and attend a marriage what do you do you set in the google and then it is very easy for you to go so it, the goal setting is like that you set the goal where you want to go set it then you will find ways to reach most of us we don't do planning we say planning hum karte hai, that is for one year or two years but what you need to look is also long term have milestones in between and work and you can pivot you can change in between as it works or doesn't work the power of why why you want to do it is the power to achieve and leave your risk so you should look at your goals once you have a goal setting with a separate exercise which almost takes maybe one to two hours some people do it one full day goal setting exercise if you do that you can find two three goals 
have a card, print it and keep in your purse, look at it every day, it tells you what you want to achieve. And moment you do that, you will evaluate it, you will find milestone to set it, you will find take actions to go towards that goal. If you want to be in, when you're a childhood, if you want to become an MBA, you need to put that I have to do my graduation, then I will do my course education, like people who do in studies in Kota to get into IIT, because he or she is very clear that I am to get into IIT. If I were to get it, I have to go into Kota, get my best training, education. There is a fair chance I'll make into IIT. So your reason why and how you going to next is discover your niche. We all have niche. If you really reflect on it, you will. So what, as a lady, what is your superpower? You have to decide, you have to think, what is my superpower? Everybody has. We all... We are all here with some power or the other. We don't reflect on it. Some people are good in managing children. Some people are good in helping people. Some people are good in taking care of people. Some people are good in cooking food. Some people are good in managing people. Some people are good in uh, good leadership. Some people are good in administration. So what you are good at? What is your superpower? Some, if you are good in creating something like I was reading a shortly an article that someone was, someone was making a local pickle lady from I think Agatala. She was making a good pickle and uh, I think homemade food and now she is selling. So the art is making it, art is getting consumers, art is in the selling. There is There may be gaps but as soon as you know what is working for you, that is defined as your niche. So what are you known for? If people tell you are good, if when someone comes and tell you, you Chetal, you are good at, always good at this. It means you are good at that skill. Just refine that and fine tune that. You will find your niche and your superpower. I'm just giving flavor of everything because to, in 30 minutes, I can't do more than that. So now comes the next part. How do you build your own personal brand? I think you have to understand, you have to define your mission. What is your core message? This is exercise. You have to invest in a photo shoot. Most of us, neglect. I think in my 30 years, I never had a photo shoot. I think that was the biggest idiot. I was but president of company. I didn't invest. Yes. Some uh, times of India photo guy will come and take the shoots and he does and does the PR and everything. But personally for me, I never did it. So now I feel what, what was this? I need to invest maybe 10,000 or 15,000. You, Arvan, uh, you can go, uh, you can find a photographer who will do a good job. Maybe you spend 10,000, 12,000, 15,000 rupees, but that will make your business fly because that's the identity. So your photo shoot should be congruent to what you are. So if, as long as you are congruent to what you are and you create your color codes, because branding is not about everything. It is about choosing your identity your color codes, what suit you, your business, what is your niche. And if you do a good photo shoot, you can always use the photograph in all the things you use, Facebook, Instagram, anything you want, you should. So you need to invest your name logo. What font do you use when you write anywhere? You will have for Facebook, you will have one font. You will have Instagram, you will have one font. Most of us has different font, even in presentation when you write it. You can, you can get a font without even investing. You can go to source and do it very easily. There are many tools which we can use to make a font which is with your name. Gaitri Sood. So you can create a font which, is sim which remains across in whatever, your card, your visiting card, your everything. Everything you do, whether it's in digital space, anything. But most of us neglect this small thing. It is, it is not consistent your color of your font, right? We are not consistent. So I think you need to look at and create power up your social. When you all do all this, you will start learning what you need to do. And then you will power up. And then you become a part of a group like, like this group, WW is a, is a mastermind group. So as you start working in this, you will help each other to become much more working towards a common cause, and then it will become an enabler for things which will help you to become bigger in what you do. So every small steps matter. So if your business is on left, this is your customers. So these are the tools we need to 
which you can use but you need to choose which one you are good at but today with the mobile phone you can use any of them facebook twitter website you need to have possibly instagram youtube tiktok pin interest and many others whichever you think is right so so many things are happening what one you are really good at is you are using facebook only for your friends or for your business are you using instagram only for posting food what you prepare or it is for your business there are a lot of people who would be interested in if you give them some answers to what they need you have to look through their lens so it's very very important so this is this is the power of mobile so your brand mobile and consumer so you have to reach them how you reach i'm they not ex- doing that in detail because that's full fledged maybe topic so owner needs to focus on business that can be done digitally with the challenges of the current times how much percentage of business you can do digitally so if you understand tools and techniques of using your mobile or your web i think you can really improve your business and grow your business and more you do it the more time you have free time you have for yourself so what is a brand brand is a set of expectations memories stories and relationships taken together account for consumers decision to choose one product or service over another if the consumer doesn't pay a premium doesn't spread a word then no brand value exist for the con- for the consumer in the minds of the consumer so you must be able to get a premium so there must be value and he must be willing to tell if your friend tells to uh, that chaitali makes great whatever food it means there is value in your people will always appreciate there is a potential something she does a great program she is able to handle a great program and to the dots so there is a value to it so you will have to understand yourself better and that's how it will help so my theory is very simple the secret of make new marketing which i call it first 10 find 10 people if you are in a business 10 people who you trust respect you and you listen those people you should be able to sell what you want and once they sell they love your product they tell about your product not because they are good friends huh? they tell about your product and they tell you right things and they are likely to tell 10 other people about your product maybe 10 maybe 100 maybe 1000 maybe 3 that's it if you get that right you just need to repeat that that's the model i i even in fmcg business i am my theory is that i find first 100 retailers who love your product if they start selling and giving you repeat by your model your product is right there is a demand now you have to create a model to make it to more to more people so if they don't love it you have to start again if then if the idea spreads your business grows it is like rinse and repeat so that's how it is like you just do it actually it is first 10 then the next 1000 true fans who would be your advocates if you get 1000 true fans your business is on because they will talk about you and every fan is like into 5 10 and today with digital media it may be 100 if they really love it then they will talk about it yes it may be slow not as fast as advertising yes but how does it matter as long as you are profitable is transaction you are making money the multiply effect is you understand your model that you are selling at a margin and margin into the consumer the more the consumers increase you can decide what approach to use do i use facebook do i use instagram do i use website do i use print media do i use whatsapp right that's your call so moment you get your model right it is your call your expense your model of using media each expense to get a customer in facebook may vary from 50 to 100 rupees is the value you get suppose the value of your product is 5 400 rupees you make margin of 70% spending 100 rupees is great fantastic because you are still making money end of the day so how do you use that so that you need to understand so find if you find 1000 fans you are there 
So create your niche. So understanding your unique selling proposition. It's an old concept to even now it works even more because if you are the brand, what is your unique proposition? What is your niche? This will result in predictable cash flow. Today's business model, there is no cash flow. If you have a regular customer through your mobile phone, through your net, it gives you predictable cash flow, correct? And that's what builds your business. Cash flow at the end of the day builds your business. Next is leverage your system. So you business is never about you. It is always about your customers. Most of us make mistakes is that we created a product and we think this is what others will like. It is never about the product. It is what the customer will like. Does it solve the job what it has to do? Does it solve the need of your customer? If it does, then your idea is great. Just because you like it doesn't mean the customer will like it or someone else will like it. That's why the first 10, test out your hypothesis with your first 10. If, you, if they like it, come back to you and willing to pay the price and willing to tell it to 10 more people or 100 more people or 1000 more people, you'll find that it's a great opportunity to do it. Very simple model, but we tend to miss the obvious almost every time. I have done it in FMCG. I am so I can tell you if, if one can build a 200 crore business in FMCG, then it is possible for all the business. If one can be, build a glass business by doing that model, by building first 10, first 10 here in the hospital business is find your first doctors. Who is the best doctors, key opinion leaders, go and convince him. He loves it. You are done. He goes and uses that glove in surgery and his counterpart because he has 10 people who is in, helping him in his surgery and sees he's using a new type of gloves. So everybody's aspiration level goes, goes up. So next they will start wanting to use that. So build your first 10. I will keep a very simple model first 10 and then next thousand and then lack whatever you want to achieve in your life. So next most critical par part is we always miss is who are your most important. If you're an existing business, what happens? We will always look at wanting to get new customer. The hunger for getting growth through new customer is very high. What we tend to miss is the obvious thing is that you already have, you already have an existing set of customers who are buying you again and again. Sometimes we forget about him. We don't care about him. But the truth is, this is the right time to respect him because he has been buying from you regularly. You are solving his, some of his problem. So go and understand him better. Retain him, give him some additional solutions, give him something more. Maybe he buys something which is something you never thought of. And he is loyal to you because he's buying from you. So you need to focus on your core. And sometimes this 30% of your customers give you 70% of your turnover. The 30% of your customers give you 70% of the pain because you got him new. So why you want so much pain? Focus on, in, especially in this time, you should really focus on the one who is buying more and more and repeat buys happen. He not only is a good advocate because he believes in you, he or she believes in you. He will talk about you to others and you may go and take information from who would you recommend, like to recommend my product to. Get information from him. Use them, leverage them. Like he is a leader for you. He is a very critical customer for you. We tend to miss the obvious. In the search for growth, we tend to miss the obvious. We always want. So when you distribute, what happens? The cost of distribution increases and marginal return happens. When that's why when key accounts open, so why do people talk about key accounts? It's almost a key account model. It's a key account individual model. So you have to treat him like a key account who is an individual, take care of him and create more business because he's most profitable for you. So it's always cost of retention is far, far lower than the cost of acquisition. Always. It, cigarette companies understand this the best. So in, in olden times, you used to go and give him cigarette. He smokes once, twice, and third time. Then he becomes a customer for you in life. So the pan wala, 
used to give you the new brand and also give you a cup and saucer free because you bought the new cigarette. What happens? You smoke, you develop the taste, and you get stuck onto that taste, right? So the first cup was the cheapest cup. That's a part of the seeding and getting you addicted. Similarly, so you need to think what is the customer lifetime? Ten years, if he buys your product, what is that value? If he's a ten percent buyer. he actually is buying 120% of your turnover today in 10 years we tend to forget and if you add inflation of 5% price increases actually he is buying almost 200% in 10 years we tend to miss that so important customers we should be given lot of priority just check your list make a list go and find your top customers what you need to do better for them maybe the loss in business they may make up without even you realizing it so you can really look at and maybe you can sell him something which you have never thought like today i am talking about uh, sanitizer my distribution chain is there my outlet is there i need to give him sanitizer because he is wanting it right the consumer his customer wants it so i have to think like that and that's what it is the next model which i would which i really love is the power of one we all get distracted ki do this do that these things if we increase the range it will sell more actually it doesn't happen your best selling item will be always 70% of your business or 60% of your business most of the business are like that i can tell about the deodorant business i can tell you about surgical gloves 70% of the 200 crores is one sku one can you imagine 140 crores is one can one perfume so that is the power of one parachute hair oil was 2000 crore brand with just one blue color bottle the simple 100 ml bottle later on they had 20% 30% of business with different sizes for penetration and distribution that's a different thing but it was 2000 crore brand with one single today they have may have grown into parachute advance parachute uh, lotions that's different because as you become bigger you need to find consumer profile you think that you can take values of the brand and then you can build more niche and more long term brand values for your current existing customers so how do you give more value to your existing customers so that the how they grow but most of you will do deep introspection you will find that the power of one is very very important and that's what will drive and that's a most profitable brand for you most profitable sku for you so if you do power of one track it so less is sometime more it is not more is more so less is more is not in paper it's the it's the truth and many businesses have done well through this process you also need to understand what is your bottle name if you are producing and it's a great success story and your 10 customers like it your 1000 customers like it now customers is your bottle neck if you are producing 10000 then you need to find that cohort like that 1000 what is the profile of that customer then where you can get them where you can find them find models to reach them so is your customer your bottleneck you got customer demand is coming maybe your production is your bottleneck in production also which part is your bottleneck most of the time production is the bottleneck we think but the truth is not every part of your production capability is your bottleneck there could be a small part Uh, which is the efficiency of that small machine maybe your bottleneck you don't have to increase capacity of everything so the model is you have to unlock what is your bottleneck whether it's in terms of customer whether it is in terms of production production i don't mean the full range full chain it is where the machinery is what is your bottleneck so in that if there is there five activity you do in a production maybe one activity in that is your bottleneck so you just need to open put additional machinery on that increase the capacity then it the, the unlocking the next level of your constraint so this is called theory of constraint so you removing the constraint so you remove the next constraint your capacity goes so with lower cost you can start increasing your capacity 
third is margins if you are if you are not making in margins then you are in a stupid business end of the day you are in business to make margin so you either have to price it right i remember the deo when i talk deodorants and surgical gloves i find it very amusing because uh, the when we when the product was launched the margin was 25% so at 25% you can't run an fmcg business you must have 50% to 60% margin to 70% margin so what next i said we close down the business or increase them we just blindly increase by uh, the price by 25 rupees the thing that happened the product became premium the demand increased and today the margin of that business is 60% if you are doing 200 crore of that business and you are doing 60% you make 120 crores gross margin 20 crores you spend on trade 20 crores if you spend on advertising or 30 crores you still have 70 crores profit going to below before people cost so that you can always do so you need to look at your margin and 90% 10% margin means you are selling commodity whatever effort you put you will not be able to really enjoy the pleasure of making doing a business so look at your margin very closely and look at opportunities look at your profile which products you can increase your margin so at least you can balance it out maybe average it out some some products you can make 80% so average you can make 40% so that you need to look at so the next one is rhythmize so i said one of the biggest challenge of every entrepreneur or solopreneur is profits most of us don't pay ourselves the so i'm starting from the reverse so we must learn to pay ourselves first what we tend to do let it grow tab main paisa lunga abhi main invest kar raha hu aage ja ke bada hoga and after 5 years i'll make more money i'll make more money and then i will take profit corona aa gaya then you don't know where are you right but the truth is you must learn to know what is your cost of your own labor own effort if you have invested let's say 1 crore rupees even if you put on bank it is 7% right at least 7 lakhs you should take out from your business come what may so pay yourself first learn to pay yourself first then think about so because then other things will start falling in place then people will people you have will work with 97% of the money right you will pay salaries you will pay everyone else but you don't pay yourself do you think this is the investment if you do a dealership you will never be able to take out money and that's the worst thing you can do to yourself you must learn to pay yourself first i am able to tell this because i have a dealership and dealership doesn't allow they will say ye model aaya paisa chahiye wo model aaya paisa chahiye the intelligent one will use bank money and take out your own money to make the business grow and that's the way to do business because the cost of capital is is your effort plus your own capital is also a cost time your your money and your resource or your energy these are the three resources you have in entrepreneurship so time is your 24 hours which out of which you can do 24 you may do 8 9 10 hours energy is what you have maybe you will have spend some good time energy sometime you will not have energy third is money which you have already put in and sometime when more money is required you may not have money so all that these are three resources you have you must use them wisely so simple things like that uh, before i go to twg a formula there is always opportunity to find money in your business two examples i will give in my own hotel today i have a tandoor which which uses 800 rupees coal to fire up before i start the tandoor it is 800 rupees of coal going in whether there is a two roti made 10 roti tandoor roti made one chicken made something like that maybe the business value is not even 1000 rupees for the day what we need to do buy a small tandoor 200 rupees small tandoor till you have parties so even if it is 20 days 600 rupees into 20 days is 1200 rupees 600 into 20 is 12000 rupees right yeah into a year 1 lakh rupees 
simple we are losing one lakh more than one lakh rupees from the business because i multiplied by 12 months maybe one and a half lakh rupees is a wastage i just cut down from instead of burning my tandoor 30 days my bigger tandoor to 10 days when there are parties and remaining 20 days is for the smaller ones when customer can't comes to the restaurant so you and now when it's unpredictable you need smaller versions smaller cost i was working for mckenro mckenro used to have contract people they used to pay 1000 rupees per contract person and most mnc's pay 500 simple swap if you have 400 people into 500 rupees if you reduce it is 2 lakhs and 2 lakhs into 24 months is 25 lakhs you save 25 lakhs so money is in the business depending on the size and scale i gave a small example i gave a bigger example so you have to see at your end what is the example that fits your business i don't know your business so you have to find it yourself so it is in the critical non essentials where money is available and that is where the profit is and cash is the cash in hand not the money someone is owing to you not the money what your chartered accountant is selling you have so much cash that is not the money cash is what you have that's why it is very important to pay yourself first cash in hand the third model is how much time i have i am already 5 minutes ahead so i will cut down i think i will not do the twc <laughs> formula it will take me another 5 minutes to explain so maybe so we will time. really have we would really have uh, would like to have your series sir you know next uh, you know maybe uh, next time We really yeah. would like to have you in a series because it's it's really going good. But only thing I will I will keep some of the things for my, next time. So I'll move. Yes, <laughs> because my my other speaker is also. Yeah, yeah. Me. So I will just do the last chart. Yes, sir. Yes. We have three gods: Vishnu, Shiva, and Brahma. Right? Vishnu is the maintenance. Shiva is the destroyer, and Brahma is the creator. So what do we learn from him? You cannot fight the reality today by being what you are. so keep what is working for you destroy what is not working for you and create something new so that's the model you should do and use and that you need little bit step out of your comfort zone you should have the right to win mentally and redefine your capabilities so pivot and adjust it's a 90 day game to survive 90 days plan to survive you must act now and you need to live life as everything is rigged in your favor it is true you believe that it is rigged in your favor and do that and my only last minute if someone wants i will give 45 minutes of free consultancy to anyone he can uh, she or he can write he can write to me with what she is doing with three questions when she wants answer i'll give a 45 minute zoom so i will be happy to do that so with that i close uh and leave it to you next next time so we get to play this game one time one life said by gary so thank you very much for listening and i know it was great talking to you your challenge will be to be better than yesterday i have seen this challenge myself so i'm sure you all will go through and look at the first 10 i'm sure you will get your first 1000 and 10000 as you go along thank you so much take care and have a great sunday evening thank you so much sir uh, sir i would like to uh, share with you that uh, as we are actually into transformation uh, we started uh, into two years back with only 12 women entrepreneurs and today we are 4000 plus in mumbai delhi kolkata nagpur pune and bangalore wow uh, this month we launched in assam and singapore in the month of may and last two months 800 women entrepreneurs have joined and new people women have they have started their new business in last two months so this lockdown is an opportunity for everyone that as you said and um, i would also like to inform that yesterday we launched our uh, we online uh, e-commerce platform where entrepreneurs can uh, log in and uh, sell their business sell their products wow. and services excellent, and, excellent. and training as well Uh, so basically we are go we it's a first step step towards atmanirbhar actually 
our swadeshi amazon we we are saying that uh, we are really extremely honored to have you sir and one my more pleasure one question so you were working with shawelis yes that was my first start and i know <laughs> i, so I had, have uh, i i know sanjeev <laughs> i have sanjeev chatterjee he has joined here yeah i know sanjeev is there so i saw him he's my husband actually <laughs> i got to understand that <laughs> yeah we are all old colleagues that he was in delhi so, so. Yeah, hello sir hi sanjeev great connecting with you after a long yeah, time yes we will connect, connect offline i think other speakers will yeah 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 so thanks we must give them chances to talk yeah, yeah, pleasure yeah. talking to all of you all the best do well and i'm sure we will make the crisis into an opportunity thank, thank you, you very so much thank you so much sir and sir please make me host uh, otherwise uh, i'll just do that sorry yes sir, thank you so much and uh, now let me welcome our so now he has explained so well so we have to uh, go for various alternative means he himself is oh, into so many business we have seen uh, mr ranju mohan that he is in himself in so many business so many opportunities we all, we have all around so while doing my own business why i can't i also have an alternative business opportunity so let us have uh, mr uh, mr kuldeep shech who is area managing partner uh, from kotak life insurance mr kuldeep can we have you yes 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 good evening everyone Hello. and of course uh, minute, raju mohan yes. sir it was a great uh, thing and it was a lot of learnings i have also picked up so thank you so much i got an opportunity to be here so it was a fantastic mm -hmm. one No, I, I don't know. Very impressive. Are uh, uh, Kuldeep, you must invite him for one of the sessions in Kotak. Yeah, yeah, surely, surely. I uh, would uh, uh, have his number from you, and then uh, we'll discuss about it. So, thank you so much, sir. It was a pleasure thank listening you. to just, you. Just give me a minute. I'm not yeah. able to get. Uh... So you just I have to go to my name towards my main my name. You can see in the right hand side. Uh, um... Sir, uh, you have to click the participants uh, list first. So the go to the list. participant list. what is the main list and uh, yeah yeah and uh, on her name you will be able to see more more as an option yeah uh, correct i will uh, make, make a host. host yeah yeah so sure. i keep on doing that i keep on forgetting because i normally start so <laughs> okay you are the host now all the best okay. thank you sir so you can stop for sharing as well और बात है आज मैं कोई नहीं है मैं आज 